Our primary focus at the logistics department is the management of critical spares for both the maintenance groups and the projects works group. 12 to 24 months ago, we had significant issues around tracking and usage of inventory within our maintenance groups. We had big issues trying to identify what stock we're holding, where we're holding it. As part of the initial project, I did a gap analysis and identified a requirement for standardised labelling and barcoding of our inventory. I was aware of the ARA inventory and labelling and barcoding project and had a few conversations with GS1. Within probably about a month, we were moving to adopt that standard. We've been through a transformational change in the way that we handle logistics in support of both maintenance and projects. The adoption of the GS1 standard has helped us fast track how we manage basic inventory in our main warehouse at Lara and also a number of branch plants across the state. I think a major challenge for the industry is a lack of a standard. The advantage of ARA working with GS1 to set a standard for the rail industry means that all the work that the suppliers and the operators do is in direct support of each other. If everyone's working off the same standard, part for one operator shares a unique identification number for another operator as well. You can have different names within the system, but that unique identifier is, is the common thread. Being a member of GS1 Australia gives us access to a suite of uh, tools to help us better identify and manage our inventory. We can uniquely identify each one of our high value assets, so in the field we can scan that asset, identify it in our system and look at the maintenance history of that asset, the warranty information, all those types of things. Another advantage of using the GS1 barcoding standard is when something turns up at one of our locations, we scan that off the truck and scan that in, into inventory. So there's no confusion around where that product's come from or what that product is, which is a significant issue that we've faced with team members with limited product knowledge. Logistics department at VLINE is responsible for managing the inventory across the network. We got a huge network of 34 depots, which manage both the signals and the track equipment. We got close to 4,000 SKUs that are across the network. The adoption of GS1 is making a huge difference for V-Line. I can see that the inventory has proved over 20%. Going forward, we are looking to implement EDI with our suppliers where we have a seamless integration of all our purchase orders, invoices going through. GS1 ARA is it's a great uh, opportunity collaborating across the rail industry with all the rail networks. Yeah, we already started working with GS1 and OS Industries to integrate our suppliers. The advantage of GS1 for VLAN is to ensure that there is a traceability of the part numbers right from the suppliers to the end product. So for example, one still uses the G10 numbers for their one steel that Pandrel uses to get the information and then make up the end product. In this case, it's Eclipse. They have their own G10 numbers that comes across to VLAN. We capture that G10 number across network for the work orders. This way, you know, there is an end traceability right from the suppliers to the end product. We've had strong support from our executive team as a lot of the changes we've made are in direct support of the Beyond 92 project, which is around increasing network performance for our customers. The adoption of the GS1 standard has allowed us to fast track the unique identification of a number of our critical and high value spares. This allows us to track information relating to those spares through the life of the asset and the spare itself.